Good morning, Missy May. I know. Good morning, Reese. Are those your toys? I was craving coffee this morning, and I really am, I don't drink any caffeine anyways, but I've got some, some decaf coffee here. Yes, can I finish my conversation? Got some decaf coffee with the Swiss water process for decaffeinating. I don't think I've showed you my AeroPress. This thing is awesome. You um, put a little filter on the bottom. Put your coffee grounds in there. Mix. Wet your plunger. And you press. I need two hands, hold on. And you press. And I will tell you what, for $25, this thing makes as close to espresso that you can get without spending a ton of money on one of those machines. Uh, love this thing. I can make myself a little Americano in the morning. So I got my coffee in there. I add usually just a little cream, and then I add some more hot water, and you have an Americano. What are you doing in here? Look, spotted roly-poly. I know, the dog has to get in. You tell her. my rolling session. Are you a good girl? Nope. Not at all. Uh, kitty doggy bickering in the morning. See this is the bottom of it. Once you're done making the coffee you just unscrew this little thing right here and a puck comes out. There's the filter. You just push See if I can do this with one hand. And there goes the grounds. You rinse it all off, and you're good for the next one. Mmm, that's a good cup of coffee. Strong, just how I like it. AeroPress. That's all it is. I'll put a link down below if you're interested. They're they're only like 25 bucks. Um, Probably not good if you have three or four cups of coffee a day, but if you like one good cup of coffee every day or every few days, perfect. Perfect. Great for lattes at home. Oh, I bought one of these. One of these little aerator things. And the hubby makes uh, lattes for himself. Save you some money from Starbucks. You! I. Tomorrow morning, D-Day. This is your meal. We're doing it. I'm tired of your poos. Not looking like they should. And everything normal. I'm tired of your eyes running. Alright. So guess what? You're going raw for breakfast. We're going to keep your kibble and dinner and see how it goes. Now mom's having a baby in six months. So can we make that work? because I really don't want to go 100% raw with you right now. So, 50-50. Me and May, you're being a boogerhead. So tomorrow morning, I'm sure you're going to have a hard time eating chicken for breakfast. I'm not going to do very much bone. They say don't mix too much bone with kibble. Plus, the old diet I used to feed, I fed way too much bone. Recommendations now are much, much less. Okay, tomorrow morning. Check. This is ironic. Um, I was goofing around. If you've ever heard of the oatmeal, he's a, he does comic stuff. I have his Facebook and I clicked on something. This is girlfriend's, like, her page. And I was just clicking on a couple of her infographics and six fancy ways. You got your regular paper drip, French press, uh, clever drip, your siphon, that's a little more complicated. Hey look, the AeroPress. Draws out the flavor incredibly well. Easy and simple. 
There you go. Actually, reading before this was sushi. Eight things to know about eating your sushi. This is the oatmeal. Try him out sometime. He is quite amusing. Hi, guys. You haven't seen me much today. I apologize. And almost no sleep last night, and it's just been a very long day. So. Reese would like to give you her squirrel. There you go. Mia says goodnight. We're gonna watch some football. And the Redskins implode. What is wrong with them? Alright. Good night. See you tomorrow. Maybe we'll do something fun.